Steven is a man with a patch and a metal detector. Hey, welcome to my video. My name is Stephen. I'm the man with the hat. I'm an amateur coin ringer and I learned everything I now know from the coin ringing group on Facebook. And they asked me a question yesterday about how do I dome a penny in a doming block and make sure I get it dead centre every time. Well, to tell you the truth, I just jestfully said I crossed my fingers, which is true. And I've lost lots of coins doing that. But here's a way you might be interested in after playing around today. If you put a lump of blue tack in the doming hole, a little bit more on top, don't compact it full, otherwise there's nowhere for the coin to go. And then using I, and that's as best as you can do, unless you can find a better way than me, put it what you think is dead centre. Now that stops the coin moving, which I found to be the worst problem. The coin moving, or in fact the ball bearing on the top which moves because I don't have a, do a doming tool which is like a steel rod with a round end. I just use a ball bearing. So there's a little bit right in the middle of the coin on top of the coin. That means I can put the right size ball bearing on top without it moving. Like that, you can shake it and whatever you want, it won't move. Assuming you've got a good eye, then all you do is move it across to your press. I would only do half a press at this stage and then check it. And don't forget, of course, it is going to be taking up the space in the doming hole where the blue tack is. So you want to really take it off, do a second press after removing the blue tack. And you get left with a nice little dome. I take that blue tack out and finish it off. Then I take it over to the one ton press, put a steel pin on the top, make the crease in the hat. But of course, everything else you already know. So thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my YouTube channel if you found this helpful.